Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here for another Blender tutorial. If you recall from our last session, we were able to generate this edges only outline for this blueprint. And I'm sure you're wondering how does that turn into an actual 3D model? So let's talk about that today. So first I'm gonna go ahead and tab into edit mode. And then I'm gonna hit the forward slash key on the numpad. That will put us in isolation mode so we only see the current object that we're working on. One thing I want to point out is that these were connected, these vertices were connected. This one and this one. I can left click and drag them, right click, just drops them. That's not going to work out for how we're going to want to create these walls. So the way to get rid of these collinear vertexes, let's go into edge mode so we can see them. Go into edge mode. We'll select there. So you can see that there's going to be a vertex in between there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both these edges. I'm going to hit the X key and I'm going to basically say delete the edges. So now all I have is these two vertices over here. So I'll go to this vertex, select it, shift click to this one, select it, hit the F key and that's going to complete it. So let's do the same thing over on this side. I'll go back into the edge mode, select this one and this one and hit the X key, delete the edges, go back to vertex mode. This one and this one and hit the F key. Oops, there. The reason why we did that is because of the tools that we're gonna to use to create the walls for this building. We'll be using modifiers and modifiers are very powerful additions to Blender and they don't have an equal in SketchUp. So let's see how that works. First, we'll tap the A key, which selects all, and then I'm gonna hit the E key to extrude it. And then I'm going to hit the Z key to extrude it on the Z axis. And then I'll click. And now I don't have my numerical control panel over here like I had before. But if I hit the F6 key, it'll show up wherever my, my cursor is. And in here, I can say, let's put a 10 foot ceiling in and hit enter. And now we're good. So that F6 key is available only after you first do an extrude or a translation or a rotate or any kind of command that modifies the geometry. Let's show how we can turn these extruded edges into solid walls using a modifier. So first I'm going to go to my numpad and hit the forward slash key so I can see the actual blueprint on the ground. And then next I'm going to go over here and I'm, going to, I'm in wireframe. I'm going to turn it into solid. Now that it's solid, and then next, I'm gonna get out of edit mode. I'll hit the tab key. Now we're out of edit mode. Now I'm over in this wrench area over here. I'm gonna add a modifier. And the modifier I'm gonna add is called solidify. And the thickness, I'm gonna make it four inches for the wall thickness. And I want it to be offset centered. So I want basically two inches on either side of the line. So to do that, I need to take this offset number here. And I'm gonna make it zero. I also want to bas basically say even thickness. So I make sure that it all stays at four inches all the way around. And now you notice I have these little problem areas here. Try to understand what that is. So let's take a look. So this is a common problem that you may run across. And the reason for it is because we have actually a flipped polygon. So let me go ahead and I'm, uh, in this solidify, I'm just going to hit this little eyeball and turn it off. And let's go look at this in edit mode. And you'll see that we really don't have all of these rectangles are not faced in the right direction because we are trying to adjust these at the same time. So really what I want to do is let's go to face mode, face like this one, this one, this one, and this one, these two, and let's hit the control F, recalculate normals. Now these are all faced the correct direction. These look like they're faced the correct direction. And let's go back out, hit the tab key. We'll go back out of edit mode. We'll turn on our solidify again. And now we can see that everything looks really good. So this is a good example of how quickly you can make these walls. Let's now look how to add a door and a window. First, I'm gonna go ahead and take the solidify and I'm gonna hide it by clicking this little icon here. Then I'm gonna go into edit mode by tabbing. I'm gonna go ahead, the door over here. So I'll hold the alt key down while I'm rotating. So I can snap into this view. I'll hit the eight key twice. So now I'm kind of looking down on it. And that's because I want to use the knife tool and I don't want the knife tool to cut through the, to the other edge. There is a setting to prevent that from happening as well. Uh, in fact, if you type in K for the knife tool, you'll see down here, you've got Z. If you type in Z, you toggle cutting through everything. 
So right now cut through is off. So that means that if I escape out of this and I decide to rotate up here like this, I can just go ahead and use the knife tool. So I'm going to do that. Okay. I'll start here. And as I drag up, I'll type the C key to constrain it. And then I'll move it over to like the size of a door and then down. And then I'll type the E key because I want to create a new one. So I'll go over here and I'll create a window. Hit the E key I'm over here and snap to that. And then I'll hit the return key. So now I've got this. You can see the edges that it created. I want to get rid of this one and it's pretty easy to do that. We'll hit the A key to toggle everything off. Go into vertex mode. Let's select this vertex and control X dissolves it, gets rid of it. So it's the same thing as if I did X and said dissolve the vertices right there. So got rid of it. So there we have it. Now, if I want to get rid of the faces, then I'll go control tab and select the face, face one here and a face here. And I'll hit the X key and delete the faces. And now I'm going to go back out, hit the tab key, turn on my solidify. And you see we have a door and a window in this area. Now that's kind of the difficult way to do it. It's a little bit more difficult to actually get things accurate because the knife tee doesn't have dimensions associated with it. So let's take a look and see how we can do this in a different way. Now we're back in the object mode and I'm going to zoom in on this particular door right here that I'm going to add. I'm going to right click to put my 3D cursor somewhere in the middle of this door right above it, something like this. And then once I've done, I'll shift A to go to my mesh tool and add a cube. I'll move it up a little bit, or actually I'll move it down, and then we'll just try and scale it. S, X, we'll scale on the X, and we'll kind of get it to about where we think it's about right. And then once we got it, we'll move it over. So maybe that's it. So if I'm looking over here, I can see that the dimensions are two foot eight. So we may want this to be just three feet. So I'm gonna just type in here, three feet, and hit enter. There we go. So that's probably a three foot door. And then we know that the height of the door is going to be probably let's say 80 inches 80 enter okay now I just need to move it up there we go so now we have that pretty much set where we want it so now that's going to be the door opening and it's really easy to do this again we're going to go back into modifiers I'm going to select this object go back into my modifiers stack I've got a solidify modifier already I'm going to add a modifier it's called Boolean. I have to click this little eyedropper to choose what I want to Boolean out of it. So once I've done that, we want the operation to be difference. And then we'll go back, we'll select this cutting object. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to set that to be display wire. Now you can see we have a door that cuts in there. And what's cool about this is I can move it anywhere I want to. If I shift D it, remember that duplicates the object and I type in the X command, it's going to move it over here. Now I have that object duplicated, but it's not yet cutting a hole. So what I can do is go over to this object and you'll see that here is our Boolean modifier. I'm going to hit the copy button, puts another one in there. This cube down here, I'll just X that out. Now I get my eyedropper. I click here and we have another door. So that's pretty cool. So now let's make the floor. One thing I need to talk about before we get started is I'm going to tab into the edit mode here on this object and you can see the orange line across the top here represents the edge. If I click this little icon, I enable this one on the right. Now basically it shows all the polygons and the edges for the solidify modifier. So now that we're in edit mode, let's turn off that. And then let's turn off the next icon, which is display the modifier in edit mode. And now we're back to our extruded edges model. And what I want to do is I want to create the floor. And to do that, let's tab A so that we select everything, hit the forward slash in the num keypad to hide the background or the floor plan. Hit A again to deselect everything, control tab to go into edge mode. So what we did is we click an edge with the alt key down and that selects the whole loop. Once we've selected the whole loop, we're going to hit the P key. And what the P key is going to do, it's going to take that selection and make a new object. So right now, look over here, we have this object called vert, which is the object we're working in. I'm going to hit this P key 
selection and now we've just created another one called vert 001 and I'm going to tab out of out of this our solidify modifier and the booleans are back in place and now we have this vert 001 and I'm going to right click on this and say rename and I'll just call it floor this is our vert and this is our floor so now that we're in the floor what I'll do is I'll tab into edit mode I'll select all I'll hit the F key and that's going to make a face out of it, but we don't see the face. Why is that? Because it's flipped. Okay, that's okay. We're good. We're good with that. Now, if you recall, if I hit the tab key now to get out of this, look, we already have, we have the different modifiers, the door, the doors are being cut out of the floor as well as we've added thickness to it. So there's a couple things that we're going to want to change here. First off, let's go ahead and remove the door modifiers. So, so now we don't see those. Now the next thing you notice that it's actually not coming down very far. It's not the full four, four. So let's change this offset and let's make it minus one. And now it does that well. And then the last thing we have to look at it, we have to notice that it doesn't come all the way to the edge. So how do we fix that? Let's tab into the object A to deselect everything. Now remember these planes up here are actually part of the solidify modifier on the original mesh but we can snap to them and let me show you how we'll call control tab in a vertex mode select this vertex and drag it we're snapping to edges but we're not slapping to vertexes so let's undo that so what are we snapping to control shift tab and we want to snap to vertex so now let's drag it and, and we snap to vertex let's go over here We'll click here, snap to vertex, go here, click here, snap to vertex, and go here, and click here, and then drag and snap to vertex. And that's all there is to it. Hit the tab key to exit out, and now we have our floor that's perfect. Lastly, we want to apply the modifiers so we can make a mesh. So the point of applying the modifiers is to turn them from non-destructive modifiers and apply them directly to the originating mesh so that you end up with a final mesh object that can be used in other applications. Now this isn't always necessary because you can actually render inside of Blender with modifiers. Also, you can export with modifiers as Blender does a great job of converting and applying the modifiers when it exports. For instance, if we were to take this scene right here and say file export OBJ and we export it and we go into SketchUp and you'll see this is what we imported. You see we have some Z fighting here. Here's our floor. Let's, let's hide that and you'll see that we have the floor plane. That's the plane that was used in the modifier to create the thickness of the floor. So I'll just delete that one. And then of course these are the doors. If I delete these and go back to this and show it, now we have our geometry exactly as we drew it up in Blender. So let's go ahead and apply these modifiers. First we'll select the top object and when we apply them, we want to apply them from top down. So I'll hit the apply and solidify, apply and boolean, and apply in the second boolean. And that's done and then we'll go to the floor and we'll hit apply and now if i go into the wireframe mode you'll see that we have so i hope this was helpful thanks for watching bye